All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. Hitman, the hitting. Chapter five. 47 arrived in Brazil, but then got a call from Diana saying he needed to stop in the capital of Brazil city. The client has stopped there for a business meeting, so you can find him to explain our terms of service. Okay, said 47. Anything else? Our guy who needed the suitcase is also there, and he was the one who told us about meeting, so you should probably go to him first. So 47 walked out of the phone booth, he was in, and, and checked his radar PDA map. He saw that there was a building where lots of people were, including a VIP, so he began walking there. Agent 47 walked into another slum, but this time there was no one around. 47 first thought that they were getting stuff to fix houses, but then he saw that houses were mostly okay. Then two boys ran by B-U-Y, B, 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 they ran, two, then two boys ran by while saying that they there was <laughs> okay then two boys ran by while saying that there was fights so 47 followed them to arena and paid a real brazil dollar to get in <laughs> a real he, he paid a brazilian dollars that's expensive there was a cage match and mr 47 began to watch when he noticed something one of the guys in the match was agent smith and he was getting beaten up because he was a loser agent, as well as a VIP. I, I don't know Hitman. Is Agent Smith? Is this? Is this a Matrix crossover? Whatever. Moving on. Agent Forty Seven couldn't laugh, so he started shouting, "You suck!" So he would not have to be covered. After the round ended, Forty Seven dragged Agent Smith to the backstage because he was unconsciousness and left him the suitcase and put on his fighting outfit. Then he went on stage to where he, there was a muscled masked wrestler. You're not Agent Smith! He said. Yes, I am. 47, who was not actually Agent Smith, replied. It's just hard for you to see because you're wearing a mask. That kind of makes sense, he said. Then they began fighting. Get you! The masked wrestler punched 47 a few times. So 47 headbutted him. Ah! and then shoved him into a wall until he was unconscious. Agent 47 went backstage again and got back into his suit. Meanwhile, Agent Smith woke up. 47, you won me a prize, thanks. You're welcome. Agent Smith then opened the suitcase 47 had brought and saw there was an anti-tank sniper rifle in it. Cool, now I can do missions again. And I mean, this is fun too, and I get lots of info. But now I don't have to get beaten up. Speaking of that, where's the client? He's in the nail company building. Have fun. 47 watched Agent Smith get beaten up. <laughs> okay, hold on. 47 watched Agent Smith get beaten up in another match. Then went over to the nail company building. Just in case it was a trap, he went into the basement where there was a track driver. Excuse me, he asked, but is someone, plant is someone planting bombs here? Yes, he replied. But the guy's having union trouble, so the bombs will be planted until tomorrow at the very least. Oh boy, that poor guy, union trouble, that's it's gotta be tough. Okay. Okay, and 47 took the elevator and started sneaking around the building just in case it wasn't really empty. On the third floor, he heard someone complaining at someone else on the phone that sounded familiar. So 47 started sneaking to him. On the way, he found a Desert Eagle and an RPG with a silencer. Just leaving these things around, it's not very safe. But he didn't take them, because 47 already had a Desert Eagle from all the other games. <laughs> and, uh, okay. and the RPG was too big to carry out. Oh, of course. That's of course. That makes perfect sense. Anyway, he found the guy wearing a black tux and complaining over the phone to someone. And then 47 realized this guy was he same guy who was in the last two missions he went on because he sounded the same. Then the guy hung up and uptrend around and 47 saw that he was really pale and he had sunglasses and a stupid haircut. Wait a minute, you're not a ghost, he said. Who are you, asked 47. I am Mark Pinochet 5, said Mark Pinochet 5. I'm a class 5 clone hitman. That means I get aged quickly, but then stop here when I'm 29. I will live forever. 47 looked at him weird 
and then said, Your claims have several problems. Let me show you one of them. Then 47 began to take out his silenced pistols, and Pinnacut ran away screaming. What the? The photo of the 47 was still very frustrated, so he beat the truck driver to death with his ceiling lamp so it would look like an accident. Okay, hold on. How do you... How does that look like an accident? What kind of... Okay, all right. Stole his truck and drove it back to Las Vegas so he could sell the bombs to the agency. Oh, or maybe the mafia. I don't know. Maybe I think they can use those. They, they, they might have some use for such items. I wouldn't know, personally. Maybe. None of my business. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a nice day. Shout out to uh, my boy, Zombies Reversed. That's Seedmos. Yeah. Have a good day, buddy. Good luck animating this whole thing. It's got to be tough. Don't you worry. I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll be looking out for. I'll be rooting for you. I'll be here, just out there. You keep yourself. You keep. You just keep things on each. I'll be here. I'm stalling. I'm gonna stop the recording. Is that it? Good lord.